Hey everyone, this video is going to highlight three quick examples of how you can make word clouds with your students. So the first option and very simple option if you use Google Docs is to just share a Google Doc with your students, ask them a question and have them write their words in. I did this in a table just because I thought it would be easier for students to have a line to work on. So I would ask them to list all kinds of words down that they associate with summer and what they do over summer. And so students filled this in. And the first option and the very easy option is there's actually a word cloud generator. So if you don't know how to get add-ons for Google Docs, you can just go to get add-ons and type in the word cloud generator. And as long as your district allows you to add them, you can quickly add this one. Once it's installed, you'd go back to add-ons and go to Word Cloud Generator. And from here, you actually get two options, a classic version and a modern version. I kind of like the modern one, so I'm going to select that one. And this menu over here pops out. It automatically gives me a visual of all my words in here that students placed in this doc for me. So I can choose, do I just want to download this? And I can and it'll populate right down here on my laptop. But I also have the option to append it to my document. So if I select append large and I scroll down on my doc, it's now down here. I quickly have a word cloud made and I can see quickly my students, what they're doing this summer and what they're looking forward to for summer. If I want a small one, I can do append small. And again, if I scroll down, I can see the smaller version. And it's here as an image, so if I need to, I can make it bigger afterwards. But as you can see, when I make it bigger, it looks a little blurry. So if you want it larger, you would just want to do the append large. You do have advanced options down here. So you can do other palettes if you want to and make the adjustment. And you can look at how that looks up here. I'll show you one other one, make the adjustment you can see how that looks up here. And I can also also say don't drop common words. If students said and or is and ah uh, a bunch of times, those automatically drop out here. Or I can say exactly what words to remove. So this is just a very quick snapshot. If you had kids reading an article, you could have them highlight three things from the article that they read that stood out to them, have them place it in the doc, and then quickly make this word cloud generator. If that's too simplified for you and you want something a little bit extra, there's a great site called wordclouds.com. And you can come right in here and they give you extra options like shapes. If you wanted it in a circle, you can do that. If you want it in a letter, this would be a great beginning of the year get to know me activity. You can have everybody choose the first letter of their first name and then that's the one that they pick. And along with the letters, if you do this masking, it'll put the mask in back if you really like that. And then you also have colorful ones. So you could do a rainbow shape and then you have the option to actually upload your own shape. The easiest way to do this is I would probably collect my student words the same way in the Google Doc. Control C to copy all the text and then come right back over to wordclouds.com, file drop down and do the paste text type and control V to paste it in there and apply. And so now those same words are filled in here. Now, as you can see, it didn't fill all the lines like the last one and that just depends on how many words you end up getting from your students. If I had more words, more of this would be filled. And then if I want to, I can go back to letters and do a J for my first name. And so that's what the J looks like. And I have it masked here as well. Then I can also do a theme. So if I want it to be different colors, I also have colors. If I want custom colors, I can actually import some hex codes or RGB codes. And I can mess with my font and pick something, do this one select and now that's what my text is and if I want to share this later if I want students to share it with me I can have them save the image and then get it from them that way or they can save and share online and get a link to send to me or if they want to if we have access to a printer they can print it out especially if you did like a get to know me activity this would be really cool to put up around your classroom so one more option just to show wordart.com I can create for free it'll just be a little bit low quality Quality exports. For this one, same kind of thing. You would want to import and I can paste my text right here. I would probably do my word collection the same way again, just quickly in a Google Doc or Google Slides, something easy to share with students that they could all be on and edit at the same time. Come back over here, paste it in. I have options down here to remove numbers or common words and say import words. And so once I do that, I can then 
play with my shapes. If I want it in check mark, I can look and visualize and see what that would look like. So that's what the check mark would look like. If I want something to really stand out in my visualization, I can click edit, select a word, and I can change the color if you make it red to really stand out. Apply, and now that really stands out. You also have the same thing as before. You have different fonts you can use. So I can pick Mountains of Christmas and visualize that so you can see my font changed you have layouts i have this at random right now but i could do a so negative slope and i can visualize that and then all the words slant the same way i don't think that one's as much fun i kind of like the random and then you have one last option down here style so if i want to change the word color i can do custom or i could do based on the shape i selected right here and then you do have these other options up here if i want to do a geometric one i can click on that one and go ahead and visualize it. For your students to turn this in or submit it to you, you can have them download as an image. If you want them to get it to you through a link, they can share it with you and you can get a link. I hope these are fun just for an end of year activity or beginning of year activities or some quick formative assessment pieces throughout the year.